BSA is like daru, is like alcohol. Have it till you enjoy it. I've spoken to some people where they say, Sir, DSA to mujse hota hi nahi. I just can't do DSA. I hear you, my friends. This is a fairly common problem happening right now. It's not so simple because if you fear DSA, I would recommend you to go a little inner and do some soul searching of where this is coming from. DSA is a great way of checking your ability to solve these point problems which will make up a feature which will make up how to solve a defect. Hello girls and boys, how's it going? Today in this video we will discuss the elephant in the room, DSA. So well, let's talk about that today. First question, should you learn DSA? Second question, how much DSA is enough DSA? Third question, what do you do if you just cannot tolerate DSA? Number four, what not to do with DSA? We'll dissect all of these and I will give you my perspective having spoken to so many students and experienced people on around all of this. Let's get started. Why should you learn DSA? Let's say you are uh, looking for the position of a full stack programmer, of a DevOps engineer, of a cloud engineer, any one of this. How is DSA relevant to you? So let's take the example of let's say a full stack developer and let's say you are interviewing for a bank. Now what is the role of a full stack developer in a bank? You'll probably be building the mobile website of the bank, the web app of the bank. Maybe you're working on some new features for the bank. So for example, if I made a transfer, um, if I just went to a restaurant, made a transfer, how do I split that transfer among four friends? Something like that. In all of this, what is most important for the bank is security and accuracy of the transactions. The look and feel UI, probably not so much. Banking apps are not the most sexiest UI apps out there. We all know that. Now let's say you are working or an interviewing for a retail organization. Let's say a Fab India. You can work on their mobile website again, mobile app or their website, or maybe they're adding some features on their website where you can upload a couple of your pictures and you can virtually try on their dresses, maybe something like that. In that context, speed and aesthetics is very, very important for them, right? Let's say you're working for a startup, which has landed its first couple of thousand customers in the next two to four months. They are looking to scale up from 10,000 to 50,000 a lakh customers. For them, scale is very important. What am I trying to tell you? What I'm trying to say is no matter what kind of organization you go, they will have a different set of problems that you will need to work on. And DSA is a great way of checking your ability to solve these point problems, which will make up a feature, which will make up how to solve a defect. And that is why DSA is important for organizations also. It's a very quick way of checking how good you are at solving point problems. That's why you should learn DSA. The second question, how much DSA is too much DSA? <laughs> I remember thinking about this and how to put this across in the video and I thought of something. DSA is like Daru, it is like alcohol. Have it till you enjoy it. Little bit, one peg here and there is great, it lightens up your mood, you feel good. Don't overdo it so that you become drunk with DSA. What do I mean? That don't do so much of DSA that you forget about doing anything else. The other way of looking at this is don't watch DSA tutorials of 100 hours. There is no value to it. 
डोंट डू अ डी एस ए स्पेसिफिक कोर्स फॉर सिक्स मंथ जस्ट बिकॉज द मार्केट इज प्रोमोटिंग इट सम क्रिएटर्स आर प्रोमोटिंग इट इट मेक सेंस टू देम इट डजेंट मेक सेंस इफ यू अप्लाई योर ब्रेन अ लिटिल बिट डोंट गो ओवर बोर्ड इन सॉल्विंग फाइव हंड्रेड लीड कोड प्रॉब्लम फॉर द नेक्स्ट सिक्स मंथ इट हैजेंट हेल्प एनी वन इट हैजेंट हेल्प यू एज वेल सो हाउ डू यू नो दैट यू नो इनफ डी एस ए वेन समबडी आस्क यू दैट क्वेश्चन हिट how much dsa do you know you should have a confident answer for it i know the basics i've solved 100 lead code questions and i'm fairly confident i know how to structurally solve a problem that is enough dsa for you the next question what do you do if you cannot tolerate dsa what do i mean by that i've spoken to some people where they say sir dsa to mujhse hota hi nahi I just can't do DSA. I hear you, my friends. This is a fairly common problem happening right now. You have to understand one thing: most of the FANG, the big organizations, they will have a DSA round, and there is no way to bypass a round. And I've explained to you the reason on why they have that round because they want to check your spot ability to solve problems quickly. That that is the purpose of that round. so if you're aiming for that those kind of organizations there is no way around it you got to do the dsa however if you just can't tolerate it then you'd stop worrying about those organizations look at startup look at very small organization they typically don't care about dsa if you have good quality projects if you have been showcasing your work and if you can are good at programming you can most probably bypass those rounds they won't even check your dsa a lot of the startups don't even have dsa round so gain your initial experience in these kind of organizations and hopefully you could skip the dsa round but i'll tell you something else as well it's not so simple because if you fear dsa i would recommend you to go a little inner and do some soul searching of where this is coming from is it a fear of working under pressure is it a fear of a specific language is it a fear of not being able to perform under 2 minutes 5 minutes if it's all of that work on those problems and dsa will automatically melt away dsa is the effect it is not the cause work on the cause figure out solutions to these things i will give you an alternate thought process today compare dsa to cracking your 12th board exams not just board but for any competitive exams that you would have appeared for compare dsa to that what do i mean in your 12th standard in your 11th standard you have one clear focus to learn enough so that you can clear the competitive exams and get into one of the good colleges treat dsa just like that know enough so that you can clear the interviews and you don't have to worry about dsa ever in your life after that so treat it like a short term assignment put your focus in get it done with and move on with your life hopefully that will shift something in your head and you can start thinking about dsa a little differently I'll give you an example. I was talking to somebody the other day, couple of weeks back in fact, and he came with the same problem, sir, mujhse DSA hota hi nahi. I just can't do it. I said, dude, keep a goal of solving 80 to 100 DSA problems, do it the right way, give yourself 2 months to fix that, and that's all you should worry about. Don't worry about mastering DSA and do that. Do enough so that you can clear the interviews. And that's exactly what happened with him. He cleared the interview, applied for a front-end engineer role, got through. Now working as a back-end engineer, minor details. But now I said, stick there. You don't have to worry about DSA again. Problem solved. Now what not to do with DSA? You don't so. spend months solving one lead code problem after another without working on a real project you may know how to reverse a linkedin in less than 10 seconds but if you don't know how to fix a failing deployment it has got little value uh, you may know a pointer to pointer reference but if you don't know how apis talk to each other very little value so 
put DSA in that context. Don't watch 200 hours of DSA tutorials. Put DSA in that context and focus on doing actual project work as well. That is the only way to work around that maze. Now to summarize, DSA is useful because it helps train your brain and it sharpens your logic. But DSA alone is not very helpful because you got to do the other things. You got to do the projects. You got to showcase your resume properly. You got to have real skills that are valued in the market. So put DSA in that perspective. It is not something to be afraid of. Get it done with and move on with your life. I'll see you in the next one.